Hi everyone, my name is Jordan. I am a kindergarten teacher in North Carolina. I'm so excited you are here to watch this video. I created this channel to share my teaching journey with other educators and inspire those who plan on being a teacher one day. I've previously taught first and second grade and I am so excited to teach kindergarten this year. It has been the grade I have been wanting to teach. It is the grade I student taught and I fell in love and I just feel like this is going to be the best year ever. I can't believe it is my fourth year of teaching. I literally feel like I just got my first classroom. I walked in, but I swear time flies. It's crazy. And now that I have some years of experience under my belt, I cannot wait to share everything I have to offer with you. So my plan for today is to basically show you how I set up my classroom, like the basics, some advice I have. Um, I did move my classroom this year, so I'm excited to go in, see what furniture is in there. So let's get some coffee in my system and head to the school. So like here's all my stuff. They usually push it over there so you can fix the carpet and then they um, wax the tiles. Um, so I'm going to start moving this onto the rug area because as you can see, like the rug area is a lot bigger than the tile. So my um, day today is just going to be like rearranging the furniture, actually see what I have because someone else was in this room before. So um, anything that's not mine that was already in the room, I kind of need to mess with and move around to see what we got. Most of my stuff is in here. I stored it in the um, cabinets in the little cubbies. And then this is like my own personal furniture. So I'll try to move that stuff too. It might take a little bit, so it might not all get done today. Okay, so if you can see behind me, I moved everything onto the rug and now I'm going to figure out like where everything should go. Basically everything was shoved on the tile. So I kind of had to pull everything all by myself and move it. Um, so now I'm going to start rearranging some things. There's like a lot of chairs. Um, I'm glad I got to see everything I have. So now it's time to kind of move and see if it fits the layout that I had in my mind. Who knows? Okay, tip number one, don't get sidetracked. I, <laughs> I just can't right now. Okay, progress. I think I have everything where I want it. So let's keep at it. Okay, so part one is complete. Let me just show you. I put all of my games and STEM activities there. Laminating, don't ask. <laughs> Math, reading and writing, and then now I'm going to sort and organize tomorrow. Okay, so I'm back for um, day two, and what I'm going to do today is basically organize everything into tubs and bins. So yesterday I showed you all how I had writing and reading stuff, math, and then like games and toys. So what I'm going to do is organize all that, put it in places in the room, probably get the labels on, and if I have time, I'm going to start on my class library. My last thing I'm going to like reward myself with is actually hanging up and decorating things. That way I know where everything is first before I hang things on the wall in case I need to change it. Okay, so I basically have everything organized. Now it's about putting it away and putting the labels on. So here are games and activities all right here. Um, I like to use these like Dollar Tree bins because the kids can easily just like put the toys away and pull them out. So it's right at their hands. Um, okay, so uh, reading and writing kind of manipulatives. I organize them in these bins. Um, this is a little bit of my supplies and some Play-Doh. All of this stuff is going to go um, in the cabinets where I have extra. So this is all like the extra stuff that I have. Um, here are my math manipulatives. So pretty. I love math manipulatives. All right here. So now I'm going to work on my storage and putting it up in these top cabinets. All right, so I started on my library. 
February and stay tuned for um, my setup in the next couple days and I will walk you through what the rest of the room will look like. Thank you so much again for watching my video. I hope I offered some advice and ideas that you can take inside your classroom. And if it is your first year of teaching, you're gonna kill it. Good luck to all my first year teachers and those who are going back into the profession. It's going to be a great year. Hopefully I can offer some insight throughout my channel to help you throughout the school year. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There's more to come. I am super excited and any ideas you want to see, just leave a comment down below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you so soon. Bye.